Hey, what is happening? What is going on? Welcome back to the channel. So what I'm going to do in this video is going to be a tutorial. I'm going to show you how to create this cool looking, like the thumbnail, same, like what the thumbnails we're going to create that. So let's jump into it. It's actually quite a popular creation that 3D artists like to do, and you can do variations of it, but I'm going to show you just a simple setup so that you can obviously take it further if you want, but just show you the basics and we'll create the scene. So first thing, we need a plane, so not an aeroplane, a plane. Shift A, mesh, plane, boom, that kind of plane, okay? S, let's scale it up, doesn't have to be too big. And then what you wanna do is go Shift A, and get a cube. So we're gonna get one cube and then go to Z, so top view. S, let's scale it up, something like that, go to scale and bring this in. Do somewhere like that, and then go G, bring it there, so somewhere like that, and then just scale it. That's perfect, okay? It's not high enough, so go to X, click on it, and then just bring it up. That is perfect. You can obviously, if you really want, you could go X, G, and bring it up like that. It is also perfect. Okay, next thing, I'm just going to bring my camera up a touch, so boom, Y and bring it up, something like that, and we can obviously adjust this later. So, next thing, so next thing we want to do is we want to get like an archway, okay, it's actually really easy to do, so again, shift A, mesh, let's get a cube, and then what you're going to do, go to Z again, so boom, and bring this in, like that and it looks about right then what you want to do is go to x g and bring it up somewhere like that now hit tab on your tab <laughs> yeah you know what to do click there and then we're going to select that one hold down shift select that one and then go Control b and bring it up like this and bevel it okay now do that now we've created an archway something like that it is perfect hit tab again and we've created a decent looking archway now go to x click this here g and bring it all the way back and then we'll need to scale it scale it like that g so that it cuts through like that now let's go back here and s scale it up so as big as what you want it to be, then G. Okay, so you can obviously decide how big you want your archway to be. This is fine, you can obviously adjust it later with your camera. Now what you want to do is you want to cut that hole in there. Okay, and then you go here, boom. Search Boolean. Right there, boom, and then go here. And now, what you want to do is hide that. And there we go. Now we can do this. So just make sure that you close that as well. Otherwise, when you render, you'll see it. You can apply the modifier. So, boom, and now go to X, boom, and then just bring this down. G, just so that you don't see the top there. Okay, and that's it. That easy. Okay, next thing, just make sure you're in cycles. And then go here to world and just close this. Now we want to get an HDRI. So use I am going to use Blender Kit. So check it out, link in the description. All you do is you just click on HDRIs. So we can use this one, click there, download. Let's have a look now. And that looks nice. So you can see there. Boom. And that looking beautiful. So you can see this is what it looks like. You can obviously rotate it, but we've got the water ready and that's what you want. Otherwise, we'd have to create another plane with the water. But this just saves us time. So I click now here and let's texture this. So what you can do is you can use you can use materials here from Blender Kit. Same thing. Like I said, this is a great add-on. You can use these kind of things like a wet plaster. You can use so many different materials. And you can even search for something so if you want uh let's go with let's go with marble 
then you search and you've got like a marble material now so you can click there and you can throw this on here you hit download and then have a look and there we go that looks quite nice it gives it a nice reflection we can tell we can put a material on this if you don't want to use blender kit we can use you know you can use something like this or you can go with something like that like a vintage marble or you can just exit yeah and let's use something from ducky so let's go with real-time materials check it out i'm sure you know of ducky but i use this quite often and you just get a exterior material look at them and you can choose from let's get like a cement and you throw it on there and that looks nice okay and that's looking pretty good what we can do is just click on our camera and just make it a little bit wider something like that and now what you want to do is you basically want to get something some some kind of props or or just something to make it look better you know you can use models here so we can go with like a chair go with like a chair search for it and you can see now we've got chairs and you can go with something like this so look for something that you like let's go with you don't want it to be, to be too but let's go with this one you can throw it on there let it download and there we go you can see there now if i just go here and click on the chair just go g just bring it somewhere like that so that it's kind of you know you don't want it to be you just go g and then just s scale it up a little bit okay and that looks quite nice so let's have a look now i can close this it's looking nice you can see the reflections and this just makes it look a little bit nicer and you won't see this obviously in the rest of the scene but now you want to just throw like a few kind of cool objects so let's go with like a, maybe like a rug this is for a rug and you've got a rug here rug here and you don't want something too over the top something like that Let's go with this one. This one will look pretty cool. Then you just put it on there. Let it download S. Let's just scale this up. So the rug S. Then G. And now we just need to get the chair in the right place. So boom. Nice looking nice. And you can see that's already, you know, it doesn't have to be perfect. Let's add like maybe like a plant. So go with like a pot plant type you plant and you can see same thing this trust me blender kits great add add on and i highly recommend just getting the the the, the paid version okay it's uh it's worth it it's not expensive and you can throw it on there and this is just showing you how easy it is to create the scene so there g and then just s scale this up g okay so you can see it is like that so just r so go r x 90 and we rotate it like that and you can see so we need to rotate it some more so r x 180 okay perfect click there g bring it down and then like that now let's just go here so i can see what i'm doing g bring it forward and that's looking nice g let's just bring it up a touch perfect and g just like that and that's looking nice let's have a look now and you can see how nice it looks already you know you don't need to add much more to the scene you can always throw on like a couch you can do whatever you want with the scene you know it looks it looks quite nice already you know it's you can throw stairs on like i said i'll make i'll make more videos on creating these kind of scenes but yeah, I thought I'd show you how to do this. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Hopefully you learned something. Check out Blender Kits. Like I said, you can see how easy it is to use. And check out the Patreon. Supports me in the channel. See you in the next video. Make sure you subscribe. Peace.